Solomon stood before Yahweh's altar in the presence of all the assembly of Israel and spread out his hands toward heaven, and he said, Yahweh, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath who keeps covenant and loving kindness with your servants who walk before you with all their heart, who has kept with your servant David, my father, that which you promised him. Yes, you spoke with your mouth and have fulfilled it with your hand, as it is today. Now therefore may Yahweh, the God of Israel, keep with your servant David, my father, that which you have promised him, saying, There shall not fail from you a man in my sight to sit on the throne of Israel, if only your children take heed to their way to walk before me as you have walked before me. Now therefore, God of Israel, please let your word be verified, which you spoke to your servant David my father. But will God in very deed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the heaven of heavens can't contain you, how much less this house that I have built. Yet have respect for the prayer of your servant and for his supplication, Yahweh my God, to listen to the cry and to the prayer which your servant prays before you today that your eyes may be open toward this house night and day, even toward the place of which you have said, My name shall be there, to listen to the prayer which your servant prays toward this place. Listen to the supplication of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray toward this place. Yes, hear in heaven your dwelling place, and when you hear, forgive. If a man sins against his neighbor, and an oath is laid on him to cause him to swear, and he comes and swears before your altar in this house, then hear in heaven and act and judge your servants, condemning the wicked to bring his way on his own head, and justifying the righteous to give him according to his righteousness. When your people Israel are struck down before the enemy, because they have sinned against you, if they turn again to you and confess your name, and pray and make supplication to you in this house, then hear in heaven, and forgive the sin of your people Israel, and bring them again to the land which you gave to their fathers. When the sky is shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against you, if they pray toward this place and confess your name and turn from their sin when you afflict them, then hear in heaven and forgive the sin of your servants and of your people Israel when you teach them the good way in which they should walk and send rain on your land, which you have given to your people for an inheritance. If there is famine in the land, if there is pestilence, if there is blight, mildew, locust, or caterpillar, if their enemy besieges them in the land of their cities, whatever plague, whatever sickness there is, whatever prayer and supplication is made by any man or by all your people Israel, who shall each know the plague of his own heart, and spread out his hands toward this house, then hear in heaven your dwelling place and forgive and act and give to every man according to all his ways, whose heart you know. For you, even you only, know the hearts of all the children of men, that they may fear you all the days that they live in the land which you gave to our fathers. Moreover, concerning the foreigner, who is not of your people Israel, when he comes out of a far country for your name's sake, for they shall hear of your great name, and of your mighty hand, and of your outstretched arm, when he comes and prays toward this house, hear in heaven your dwelling place, and do according to all that the foreigner calls to you for, that all the peoples of the earth may know your name, to fear you, as do your people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have built is called by your name. 